Excuse me. Do you know where Ballswood House is? Ballswood House? Yeah. What? It's round here, is it? Yeah. It's near King's Cross. Well, ain't you got no street name? No what? It's all you got. Ain't you got no directions? No, that, that's it. Hang on. Come with me. Come on. Ballswood House. Ballswood? What's that? A joke? No, no, it's a geezer. He's looking for Ballswood House. Oh, hello. Come in. Ballswood. There's Balls Pond Road. Yeah, no, I've got that. Look. Come in. Put your bag down. Shut the door. No, there's no Ballswood. Sit down. Want a cup of tea? Yes, please. Yeah, go on. Sit down. Thanks. Who give you that? My mum. You want your holidays? He's looking for his sister. I've come to get a job. Oh. Where are you from then? By Fleet. Where's that? Surrey, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. So what, you come out of London looking for work? Yeah. You'll be lucky, mate. I'm going to get a job on a building site. Oh, yeah? Vivian said. Who's Vivian? My sister, Vivian Bennett. Do you know her? 
No. Help yourself to a biscuit. Yeah. Thanks. What's that? It's a cactus, isn't it? Oh. Guess what his name is? Dunno. Thatcher. Because <laughs> it's a pain in the arse. Prongs you every time you walk past it. That bit's Dennis. Is it? That's bollock. Dick, turd, brains. That's willy, that's knob. They've all got names. Did your mum write that down for you? Yeah. There's a bit missing. Is there? She ain't put the street name down, see? How do you mean? Well, Ballwood House is a block of flats. No, no it's not. It's a house, see? 29 Ballswood House. Yeah, but it's in a street and you ain't got the street name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when you've had your tea, go down the station here. Yeah? Ask the cabbie. Yeah, they know all the flats. Who are they? Cabbies. Taxi drivers. You'll be all right. Yeah. You go right and then right again. Right. Ah, left and left. That's quicker to go right. Right. Well, it don't make no difference, does it? No, it don't, does it? All right. Go left and then left again. Right. Well, then again, you could go right and right. Yeah, whatever. It's just over the back here. <gasps> See ya. Here, what's your name? Wayne. Oh. What's yours? Shirley. That's Cyril. Pleased to meet you. Hello. Well, there you go, then. Bye. Take care of yourself. Thanks. Bye. Pressure quid, he goes left. Right, you're on. Go on, my son. Yes! <laughs> What's he doing? Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 Go on, Wayne. You can come see my old lady when we get it over with. Guess we pan first. You've got no change, have I? Better. Ain't she been well? Me? Hey? What's the matter? Him? That's all right then, isn't it? You want anything? You want a cup of tea? Well, what's the time? It's about three o'clock. No, it's too early for me. Please yourself. Well, spoil me tea, won't it? Yeah. Can have one if you like. No, I don't want one. I'll have one. <laughs> well, you want one, dear? One sugar. Biscuit. <laughs> Got any chocolate biscuits? No. Oh, it don't matter. Don't have plain then, would you? Anything to do. Save me a couple for me too, won't you? Yeah, all right, all right. Been out anywhere then? When? I don't know. Yesterday? Friday? No. I thought you meant today. Nah. Where would I go on a Sunday? Church? <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> yeah, we can't stop long. We just pop round and see if you're all right. We only just got here. You up in Valerie yet? No. Nope. Yeah, you're better off, aren't you? She can suit herself. Yeah, she will. Big 7-0 soon, isn't it? What's that? It's your birthday coming up. 
Yeah. Getting a telegram from the Queen, I expect. Is well, she a good mate of yours? Is she the Queen? And you're gonna smarten yourself up. The day they machine gun the royal family, I'll come here and put a tie on. Sleep for a couple of hours. I haven't. You have. <laughs> Shut up. He's winding you up. Shut my eyes for a minute. What are you doing? I'm just looking at these window boxes, ain't I? I don't think no one's in. It never is of a weekend. Nah, they've gone to their country match and. <laughs> <laughs> this was a different street when I was a kid. Before the middle classes took over. I bet your mum's the only council tenant left round here. Centrally, you know. Ain't the same, is it? What they want to come and live round here for, anyway? Well, they buy these houses for sod, all they sell them for a fortune. Ain't an home, though, is it? No, it ain't. It's a capital investment. My thumb's aching, it's yours. Come in. Your mum did vote Tory last year. Of course she did. <laughs> she wasn't even going to vote. We took her round now. She voted Labour. She'd have owned up, would she? Yeah. Working class Tories stabbing themselves in the back. What did your mum used to work at? She never had no job. How about when she first left school? She worked in a canteen. Oh, yeah. She's during a war. She stayed at home after she had your Valerie, didn't she? Yeah. Don't know if I'd go back to work or not. What do you mean? After I've had a kid, of course. You ain't got a kid yet, have you? Well, no, I ain't got a kid yet. So what are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. It's an overpopulated world as it is. Oh, watcha. All right. What, no luck? No. Wouldn't you find it? No, I found it. Yeah, well, you better come in then. Well, you don't live your life to please your mum. Still don't. 
You don't know where to go. You go home, don't you? Oh, I can't really. Have you had a row with your mum? Sort of. Yeah, because you ain't got a job. No, because I've got the pies wrong. What pies? Well, I was supposed to get steak and kidney pies and I got pork pies instead. That was last week. Your mum, she spoke your sister on the phone, did she? Yeah. When was that? Last week. And your sister knew you was coming? Yeah. How do you know? Because my mum said. Well, ring your mum up and tell her your sister wasn't in. Oh, I can't do that. Why? Because we're not on the phone. Oh. Maybe we ought to let him stay here tonight. I think so. Yeah, we can stay here tonight if you want. You can sleep with Cyril. No, leave it out. We've got another room. There's a mattress in here. Is there? Thanks. Better than walking the streets. You want a biscuit? No, I'm all right, thanks. Are you hungry? No, I had a wimpy. What are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah. I'm going to get out of it, Wayne. How do you mean? Where'd you go? That wimpy down by the station? Yeah. There's a lot of people about, isn't there? Yeah. Was you hassled? What? Anyone give you any aggravation? Yeah, this bloke started staring at me. Did he? Yeah, and then he said something. What'd he say? I don't know, I didn't understand. There's a lot of dodgy geezers about. Yeah, you've got to be careful. I think if your sister ain't in tomorrow, you better go back to Byfleet. No, I can't do that. Why? Because my mum be annoyed with me. Were you wearing them on the way in? Yeah, I was. They're bright, aren't they? <laughs> Shut up, they're nice. <laughs> Stereo, please. Cool, that's a bit smart, isn't it? It's a ghetto blaster. Thanks. Good night, then. Good night. Night, Wayne. Good night. Sleep tight. Hope the police don't bite. <laughs> What's he saying? You have some police don't bite. Look at him. <laughs> you turn that radio off. Snake! <laughs> what do you think this is a bleeding disco? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Don't laugh. He'd get out of your wick though, wouldn't he? I hope I don't have a kid that's a bit thick. Do you? Ballswood House? Yeah, just round the corner. Not far, really. Let's hope she's there, eh? That's where she is. This is Cyril to Grease Lightning, Cyril to Grease Lightning, over. Well, she ain't. You get on a bus, you go straight back to Byfleet, you know what I mean? Yeah. Roger, Cyril, coming to bake. I'm coming, hurry up! Yeah, 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 I'm on my bike, over and out. Who's he speaking to? My office. How fast can this bike go then, eh? This? Yeah. As fast as I want it in. Mind your back then.
Why'd you give me a hat? Would you see the So? Give you something to do, won't it? <laughs> there you are. What are they saying about my baby? What's this? Happy Christmas! <laughs> it's nearly February. So? Listen, Mum, what are you saying? A bit late, isn't it? Well, you've got it now, haven't you? You had a choice. You could have come to us on Christmas Day and you didn't. Do you want it now or don't you? I don't care. You don't care. It's always the same. You never care. You never have cared. Well, please yourself. Hey. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Are you going in? No, I found Jeremy. <laughs> what did you say? Well, I told him something rather urgent and cropped up. <laughs> Just a minute. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> Where are you going? Stay where you are. <laughs> I like surprises. <laughs> so, uh, when are you coming over? What about Sunday week? I'll pick you up. I'm not going with Martin. I said I'll pick you up. Come and get me! <laughs> Mr. Sausage, hello! Mr. Sausage is on the stairs. Naughty Mr. Sausage. Very naughty Mr. Sausage. Mr. Sausage deserves a smell. On his body! <laughs> Mr. Sausage is coming to get you. No, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. No, he isn't. Yes, he is. <laughs> I'm going to get Mr. Sausage. Oh, jolly good! <laughs> Are you going to open your present or not? Your blood pressure. Look. There, let's open it. See? Were you pleased with it, are you? Anyway, I gave you an hundred Friday. So? So where's it gone? I want you. Oh, don't start all that. I only want fifty. Look, I'm busy. Oh, where are the customers? Don't be funny. What do you want money for? Well, you've got your dinner round your mouth. Get off. Where are you going? I'm only going shopping. Well, use plastic. You've got plenty of it. I can't. Why not? I left them at home. Well, go and get them. You ain't got nothing better to do. Look at me, some cash. Get off. No. Cross, you don't have a pot. What you got on? Here's a tenner. Hi. 
Christ, I'm starving. What's the matter with you, Dee? There's nothing the matter with me. Do you want your dinner? Of course I bloody do. I could eat an horse between two mattresses. Come on, then. What you got? What you got? Something special. Wheel it in. Are you ready? And Willie. What's this? Your dinner. You trying to be funny? No. <laughs> what are you laughing at, then? I'm not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. What is? You can't take a joke. Take a joke? I could take a joke. I don't get this joke. If you don't give someone any cash, then you get bread and water, all right? You're in a bloody twist. I'll give you cash, I'll give you a bleeding fortune. Look, I'm hungry. Give us that bread back. No. Why not? Because I have cooked your dinner. Ben appetito. I don't want it. What? I ain't hungry. <sighs> what do you mean? I had some peanuts in a pub. Prescription made up. It's in my purse. Somewhere. Where is it? Well, my purse. It's got my prescription in it. Maybe you left it in your ass. Put it in my bag. Sure, I did.
Lock myself out. Pardon? Can't get in. Ah. That's not a very clever thing to have done, is it? Have you forgotten your keys? Left my purse on top of the telly. Couldn't get my pills from the case. Yes, but what have you done with your keys? In my purse. Ah. Well, um... Have you seen a policeman? Around here. Well, aren't there any neighbours you know who could help you out? Not anymore. Well, is there anyone you know who has another set of keys? My son and my daughter. I'm sorry? My son and my daughter. And where are they? My son will be at work. And what about your daughter? Might be anywhere. Well, is she on the telephone? Well, then might I suggest you give her a ring and tell her to come down here with a set of keys pronto. I can't get in. I'm sorry? I can't get in my house. Well, uh, there are such things as telephone booths, you know. I ain't got no money. Why ever not? It's in my purse. You have got yourself into a pickle, haven't you? Well, uh... If you'd like to give me your daughter's number, I'll give her a quick ring for you. I don't know her number. It's in my book indoors. Well, is she in the telephone directory? I suppose so. Right. Well, I suppose you'd better come in, just for a moment. Letitia Booth Brain. Oh? Your mother's next door neighbour. Oh, hi. <laughs> I have your mother sitting here in my kitchen. It appears that she's locked herself out. So? Don't you have a spare key? Well, what if I have? Well, perhaps you'd like to bring it over and rescue her. Is she being a nuisance or something? No, not as yet, but I am a little pushed. Excuse me, did I say I was coming? Well, if you're not, who is? OK, no hassle. We'll send someone over. All right? Jolly good. Post haste. What? Bye-bye. It's rather a large house for one person, don't you agree? Manage. Milk? But you can hardly justify having three bedrooms, though, can you? It's my own. Yes, it is at the moment. I grant you that. Sugar? Fine. I'm not sure that it wouldn't be better appreciated by a professional couple or even a family. Biscuit? Yeah. <coughs> oh, slipped there. Yes, that's as may be, but times change. first to agree that you'd be far better off buying yourself a nice little modern granny flat. Where would I get the money from? Well, if you were to put your house on the market, I think you'll find you've been sitting on a gold mine. Do you have all your original features? Cornices, fireplaces? Got fireplaces, yeah. Hey, voila! Bring in the estate agents. My house. Ah, it belongs to a member of your family. Belongs to the council. Oh. Well, mercifully, you people do have the opportunity to purchase your council property nowadays. I'd snap it up if I were you. 
And then, of course, one resells. I think I could use your toilet. Ah, oh, the lavatory. Yeah, I'll show you where it is in a minute. Can I help you? Hi! <laughs> what do you want? Who does Sarah work for? I don't know, Greasy Pole or something. Why? He's got to get round to Mum's. What for? She's had a serious accident. Is she in hospital? Martin, she's locked up with that yuppie woman next door. Yeah, big deal. Look, it's a matter of life and death. Leave it out. If she dies, on your head be it. All right, why don't you go round there then? Oh, please. Hey, it could be anywhere. It might be in Timbuk too. Oh, mind that fat! Well, I'll try, but... I love you. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, what's happened to her? I don't know. She's supposed to be next door. Number 55, is it? I'd better shoot over there. I'm bailing out. your lunch? Minimalistic, to say the least. Oh, God, not that bloody awful Nouvelle Cuisine. Yeah. You must be ravenous. I did manage a couple of oysters. Ah, oh, well done. I had a dozen. Oh, did you really? Yeah. <laughs> the most enormous Chateaubriand. Everybody else had some bilious-looking fish. You'll never guess who Aunt Amanda brought along. Who? Araminta de Winter. Really? Yeah. I had no idea. They were friends. Oh, they've been chums for years. Minty's trying to coax me into doing some charity work for her. Charity work? Spring function at Grosvenor House. I said the only thing I felt sure of was being able to solicit a couple of cases of something bubbly from my husband. <laughs> Did you indeed? I think that's awfully presumptuous of you. To whom are we giving this time? Mm, mentally handicapped, something or other. Do they drink champagne? Yes, I expect so. Put me down. Seen anything you like? Can't see very well without my other glasses. Ah, oh, you've left those inside as well, have you? I don't bring them out as a rule. We are an old scatterbrain today, aren't we? When can we expect these barricades to arrive? Well, ASAP, hopefully. And traffic's appalling. Mm. All right like this, am I? No, DJ, I think. Do you? No. I'll put it out, will you? We're going to the opera. Jeremy Rutland Barrington will have to go. Oh, do tell. Cracking jokes in French, <laughs> none of which were remotely amusing. But I must say, the frog teetotaler could fall profusely. <laughs> anyway, Lance and I are having lunch next week at the club. Oh, Jeremy's day is numbered, I feel. Absolutely. Now, how about getting outside with a brush, giving the front of your house a lick of paint? Smarten it up a little bit, eh? Yeah. And your garden leaves a great deal to be desired. You could have enormous fun out there. Do you have green fingers? Mm, my husband used to do all that. Ah. Where is he now? He's dead. Jolly God. Where shall we eat afterwards? You choose. Mm. Thank you. 
Ja. Ah, uh, hello. Hi. Have you brought the keys? Well, I'm not stupid, am I? Oh, <laughs> jolly good. Well done. Hello, Mum. Oh, Valerie. Well, it's been a silly girl, though. Yes, I don't think it'll happen again in a hurry. <laughs> this is a nice little roll. Thank you very much. It's amazing what you can do with a slum, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so, uh, how long have you been here now? Uh, about 18 months. Oh, so long. <laughs> so, um, you like it round here, then? Yes, we find it extremely satisfactory, <laughs> thank you. Each to his own. Uh, I don't wish to appear rude, but my husband and I do have an engagement, and I've yet to take my bath. I didn't want to come here in the first place, did I? And I just want to say, thank you for your hospitality. Oh, uh, it's my pleasure. Goodbye. Goodbye. Full steam ahead. What are you trying to do to me? Hey? Leave this. What? I've only forgotten the key. You haven't. I have, if you must know. Wait here. I keep your mouth shut. May I use your phone? The phone? What's the problem? Oh, you won't believe this. What? She's changed the lock. <laughs> Extraordinary. Well, our problem is, I'm afraid, we're rather strapped for time. Absolutely. Well, it'll only take a minute. Don't you have a phone next door? Oh, well, yeah, but we're locked out, aren't we? But you brought the key. It's the wrong one, isn't it? Oh, bad luck. Well, quickly, quickly. In your car. What's happening, Valerie? Shut up. Who's coming with the key? Trust me for once in your life, will you? Tomorrow and tomorrow, tomorrow creeps in this petty pace. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, Mr. Overture, I suggest we cut our losses and go straight out to dinner. Yes, I'm well aware of the situation, Rupert. These seats cost £150. <laughs> so what goes on down there? That's my husband's study. Oh, look what they've done to your coal, old mum. Can I take a little peek? Uh, well... Uh, oh, oh, but, oh! <laughs> this is a fun room, isn't it? Yeah. So what do you get up to down here, then? <laughs> You're not going to tell me, are you? I bet you keep him on a tight rein. Goodness sake, my God! Titi! That's a nice suit. Thank you. <laughs> Are you in the city? No. I'm in wine, as a matter of fact. Oh! Permanently pickled. <laughs> what are you doing? I think we're neglecting your mother. Oh. Well, we wouldn't want to do that, would we? Yeah, what's happened to her? Uh, nothing. She's tipped off. She's what? Excuse me. Do you mind? No, do you? What are you doing? Oh, I sure. No. Are you quite sure you brought the right key? <clears throat> what are you on about? Left for the door. You taking a piss? What? Where's my mum? Ah. Now, look here. I really have no idea where your mother is, whom she may be, or indeed, whether you have her. You want a fat lip? What? You heard. Well, but don't get involved. Did you? Now, what made this country great was a place for everyone, and everyone in his place. And this is my place. Here, here. Fascist. No, it's not, is he? Is that Cyril? Is this your mother? 
Well, take her away. And kindly remove that ridiculous Heath Robinson contraption from off my property. I'll drown this then. Uh, yes, we do. I thought it was cancelled. What the bloody hell's going on? I've got a key in tree. I'll take that to the vendor. We've had an accident or something, didn't I? What are you talking about? And where's your key? Oh, hi, Sarah. Long time no see. Hey? I'll put the kettle on. Sorry. I'm not talking to you. I treat you right next door. Mum? What's the matter? Your dad ain't coming yet, has he? I ain't done the potatoes. Don't be so daft. Yeah, give me my purse. Well, hurry up. It's not on late turn, is he? He's dead, Mum. There's your keys. Who's that? Is this Rainy? Surely. You're not too big for a good eye, didn't you know? Sure. What? Come and give us a hand. I'll give her a right hand, huh? <laughs> you carried a tray. What's the matter with you? Don't kick up such a row. Sorry. Want to take your hat off then? No. Oh, all right. <laughs> There's your tea, Mum. I've left the bag in. I've had enough tea for one day. Well, you don't have to drink it if you don't want to. Oi. What? Who are you up to? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Yeah. What is this? Some kind of interrogation or something? Yeah. How's your blood pressure, Mum, eh? I asked you a question. Look, not in front of Mum, all right. All right. We need to talk. So start talking. Well, not here. All right, we'll go outside. OK. One bit a sec, Mum. I'll wait here, eh? Right? No, come on. Sunday week, I'm throwing a surprise party for Mum's 70th birthday, and I want you both to be there, OK? I want to know who phoned my office. Well, I didn't. Well, who did? Martin! They said she'd had an accident. Well, I didn't tell them that. Well, what did you tell them? Oh, here's a bastard. Well, what did you say? Well, I told them the truth. What else would I say? Of course, what else? Thanks, Cheryl. You're out of your mind, you know that. Well, it takes one to know one, Cyril. So, are you coming Sunday week or not? Oh, leave it out. Try to get him to be there, Shell. About 4.30, for Mum's sake, OK? Bye! I'll give you a ring, Mum. Full up. Yeah, wash your hands then. Thanks. That's it. Here, dry your hands on that. Before we take a walk round there with you, Wayne. Yeah. And where? Round Vivian's. Yeah, but she's not in. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Here, I'll put your coat on. Can't we go round there tomorrow? Come on, hurry up. It's freezing out there. So worry. What is 
she comes back tonight. Go, go, drive him away. Yeah, you know who he reminds me of? Yeah. E.T. <laughs> go home, E.T. See you, Wayne. He's gonna get off. I'll leave it. Eh? <laughs> sang it at school. It's from an opera. What? And I'll give you a teeny weeny little clue as to which one. We saw it tonight. <laughs> no. It's easier in English. What is this sorrow? Two stags. Same day. Totally different. <laughs> Silly sausage. Do you know, I really wasn't very keen on the soprano. Too much vibrato. Kira? No, Achilles a mezzo. Marvellous. I'm talking about Susanna. Which one's she? The little one. Oh, the dwarf. Dreadful thick ankles. Ah, the man dressed as the woman. No, darling, how many times? Cherubino is the woman who plays the boy who dresses up as a girl. Ah. Is my neck looking a little saggy? Can you see any lines? <clears throat> darling! It, it looks absolutely fine. No cold hands. Sorry. I thank God every day I've been blessed with such beautiful skin. Oh. You really are a very lucky boy. You take me for granted. You start. You start. You start. Ah, you start. You start. You bloody start. Oh, come on. You get on top. No, I don't want to get on top.
start what well, anyway? You're Michael Douglas. Who? Michael Douglas. Who's Michael Douglas? Michael. I ain't Michael Douglas. I'm a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> he died with his boots on. <laughs> he was too pissed to take them off. <laughs> Do you want me to help you? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me first. Anything. <laughs> Anything. I might hold you to that. You name it. <laughs> uh, this is bloody good here. <laughs> Don't mention it, old chap. <laughs> Unzip a banana. <laughs> <laughs> His mum never showed him how to undo his laces. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was going to eat it off. <laughs> I'll tell you what, eh? If I can't ease it off, I'll give it a good tug. <laughs> oh, that one aren't nice. Did you come? <laughs> this little piggy went to market. <laughs> this little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had roast beef, and this little piggy had none. And this little piggy was a bad little piggy and went wee all the way home. What's the matter? Thinking. What are you thinking about? Something sexy. It's got something to do with sex. Well, you know me, I'm going for anything. <laughs> you gonna put your cap in? Do I have to? What do you mean, do you have to? Oh, I'll get it. No, you don't have to. We could go to sleep. Fit on being selfish, don't you? Yeah. You can think what you like. Well, your family are fucked up. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I'm all fucked up, then. Now, oh, go on, you might be right. Families fuck you up, that's the truth. My family didn't fuck me up. Oh, well, you were lucky, weren't you? Look at your brother. Just strutting about in his uniform. Well, it's just me brother, isn't it? What about your mum then? What about her? Uh, she's catatonic, isn't she? Your dad never says two words to her. They're out of date, families. Ain't no use anymore. What you really think? Yeah. Two's company, you know what I mean? All right, living here, aren't you?
is my advice. My advice. He's a bit big, isn't he? He was a giant. No, I mean his head. He's all right. And what he'd done was he wrote down the truth. People was being exploited. The Industrial Revolution, they was forced off the land into the factories. There weren't no working class for them. He set down a program for change. He's got his whole family in there with him. Without Marx, there wouldn't have been nothing. Oh, look, his grandson was only four when he died. Your kids died young in them days. Oh, no. Wouldn't have been no unions, no welfare state, no nationalised industries. I wish I'd bought some flowers now. It don't matter, does it, flowers? What do you mean, it don't matter? He's dead. You're going on about him. I'm talking about his ideas. Philosophers have only interpreted the world in various ways. The point, however, is to change it. Here you are. Oh, look, it's the chairman of the South African Communist Party here. Thing is, change what? It's a different world now, isn't it? That ivy could do with a bit of a prune. By the year 2000, there'd be 36 TV stations, 24 hours a day, telling you what to think. They've planted them trees right on top of them graves up there. Pissing in the wind, isn't it? You ain't interested, are you? Yes, I am. What care is that? Susie. Long time no see. You all right? Yeah, I've been fine. Where you been? I go to cemetery. Oh, someone dead? Yeah, Karl Marx. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. You didn't know that. I didn't know that. I, I just forgot. He's a reactionary sod, my dad. When I go home for a visit, I'm sitting there watching telly, right? And I look at him and I know he wants to clout me. Perhaps you won't tell him, eh? She will. They're like that, them two. Always have been. 
When we was kids, she was always daddy's golden girl. He, he's a self-made man, right? And she's a bleating yappy. So he loves all that. He thinks, they both think that the sun shines out of Thatcher's arse. That's out of order, isn't it? Grafting you up your old man. Yeah, but sh sh she's bitter. If she had her way, she'd ban abortions altogether. Do you know what she called me this morning? A murderer. Why can't she have kids then? It, it's something to do with her hormones. She's got to take these tablets. But she can't hold an egg. Can't she? And they make her fat, so she gets all emotional. They got this spare room, right? And that's where I always stay. So I says to him, why don't you let me live here and I'll give you a, a bit of money out of me doll every week. And, and she says, that's not a spare room, that's a nursery. So I says, well, it's not a nursery, is it? Cos you ain't got a baby. She went up the wall. She said, well, you, you shouldn't have got pregnant in the first place. As if I did it on purpose. As if I put myself through all that for fun. I wouldn't have an abortion. Wouldn't you? No. Well, that's your choice, isn't it? Yeah. You ain't against them, though, are you? You know I ain't. You're like my sister. You got a spare room. You could have a baby. You got anyone staying tonight? No, the room's empty. It's nothing to do with governments. It's a woman's choice. And, and if they find that it's an abnormal fetus, well, again, that's the woman's choice. It's her body. I think, right, that once her fetus is growing, it's alive. Yeah. But then how do you know when it starts to think or, or feel anything? Well, you don't. But it's still a living thing. So's a cabbage. You still cut it up. What pisses me off is everyone goes on about the unborn fetus. No one gives a shit what sort of world the kids are being born into. Right. Uh, if you ain't got no money, well, excuse me for breathing, right? I mean, we're fighting, right? To hold on to rights we fought for years ago. Uh, she's already crippled the welfare state. And, and now she's going to kill it off. Because the power isn't with the workers. I want to go to Nicaragua in October to help them pick the coffee beans. That's what we need here, see? A revolution. Here we go. Well, that'll put back the power with the people where it belongs. What do you know about revolution? There ain't going to be no revolution here. You can't say that. The situation's right for it. What with the unemployment and poverty and that? We're heading towards a totalitarian state. But the people won't have it. They're going to fight. She's taking away the basic right of the working class. I mean, you look at what she's doing to the, to the unions. Yeah, 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 I know about unions. You're not in a union, now, are you? Oh, we ain't got no union. Right, well, that's what you've got to do. Organise yourselves. Otherwise, you won't have a voice. Still looking for a job, then? It is no point. Uh, unless you're a skilled worker. What are you going to do, then? Well, I might get a, a stall in a market. Like Linda. Oh, what, jewellery? Yeah. Uh, but I've got to learn how to make it. I have to have a, a soldering kit. So you're going into business then, small-time capitalist? Shut up, Cyril. She didn't say that. Yes, she did. Oh, she never. One minute she's talking about revolutionary socialism, the next she's starting a business. Think. You think. Talks a load of bollocks. She always does. Are you warm enough, Susie? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Still go to your meetings then? Yes. Wednesday nights. You you should come along, Cyril. I'm well, not much of a lad for meetings. Well, do you good to get out and do something instead of sitting on your ass talking about it, eh? So what is it you do at these meetings? We discuss things. Yeah, but what do you actually do? We talk about things. So you talk about things. What good's that? It gets it clear in your brain. Oh yeah. Yeah. So when you're out in the street talking to people, you, you know what you're talking about. Yeah, but apart from the yabba, what do you actually do? We're working towards the revolution. You're wasting your time then, aren't you? Well, what do you do? Sit on the arse.
don't know why you don't get yourself out. Have some fun. I won't stop you. I'm really dying to go out on the town. I can't wait. So I'm always going on about having babies. Same thing, isn't it? What's the same? It's all a bourgeois game, isn't it? Get yourself in a nice house, cut the kids, dog. Garden with a greenhouse. I wouldn't say no to the greenhouse. I don't know what you want. No, you don't know what I want, do you? I feel cut off. What, from me? No, not from you. Tell me what you want. Don't tell me what I say. I ain't telling you, I'm asking you. Can't say, it's too obvious. Too complicated. Go on. Sounds stupid. I want everyone I'm having up to eat. <laughs> I told you. Places to live, jobs. Don't we all? Then you have babies. I ain't gonna get what I want now, am I? Knock it on the head. I can't wave a magic wand. I'm a dead loss. I do nothing, you sit here moaning. Don't know why you don't clear off. I would. Well, go on then. If I didn't love you. I don't want you to go, I'll just keep feeling I'm holding you back. You are holding me back, you stupid bastard. You thick. I'm never going to be perfect. birthday girl. Cheer up, it might never happen. How old are you? 21? <laughs> 17 and never been kissed? <laughs> uh, I said kissed. I bet you was the right little raver, wasn't you? In your day. Doing the Charleston. <laughs> know what I mean? Here, do you fancy a drink? I don't go. Perhaps. Come on, don't be a pain in the house. There's a couple of old geezers in my boozer. Cream their jeans over you. <laughs> Get their pacemakers going at 78, you would. <laughs> Where's Valerie? Hangover or something. You oh, all could do some of that.
All right, my darling? How you doing? You give me a fright. A little surprise for you. You like little surprises, don't you? What's the time, anyway? Come on in, give us a kiss. Oh. Come on. What's the matter? Ah, sod all that. I haven't got a lot of time. I'm in a rush. Oh, I don't know what's wrong Oi, come on! Do you want tea or coffee? I don't want nothing. Come here. I waited till half twelve for you the other night. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got a bit tied up there. Sorry about that. What do you mean? Ah, uh, some wallies from Birmingham showed up. Come on, darling, I'm rock hard. Don't be so rude. No, leave it out, I am. Look, don't mess me up that. I've only got about ten minutes. I've got somebody in the car. Oh. Don't matter. Who's in the car? Someone you don't know. Come on, darling, let's go to bed. Oh. I mean, I know you want it. Let's just oh. do it. Oh. Ah. Who is it? Who's what? In the car. My mother-in-law, if you must know. You saying your kid? No. I've seen neither of them since before Christmas. Catch up with you, right? Right, Shirley. Frighten the light out of her, would not it? Cyril, just relax, please. I am relaxed. Do you think they got lost then? No. Oh! Is that for me? No, it's your mum's birthday present. Hmm. Crisp chair? No, thanks. Cyril won't want one. <laughs> so what is it then? It's a shawl. Oh, she won't like that. <laughs> what would you get her then? Well, why should I tell you? Have you seen our fire? <laughs> you can turn it up or down. Look, <laughs> it's not real. Ain't it? 
Do you choose all this, then? Yeah! <laughs> Do you like it? Bit noisy, isn't it? I can't hear anything. We're detached. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be a chess set, then. <laughs> Don't you play, Shark? Yeah, do you? Yeah! <laughs> yeah? You've got all the bits in the wrong place, haven't you? Look, it's the rock. It's supposed to go on the outside there. Huh? And that should go there, right? Yeah. Leave that alone, please! All right? Look. I like it like that, all right? Here he is. The jerk in the murk. No, the wanker in the tank, huh? <laughs> the weasel in the diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Where the bleeding hell have you been? Got tied up. What do you mean tied up? Business. Well, what sort of business on a Sunday? None of your business. Never mind about that. She wants to go to the cars if she's thirsty. Close the door! Close your mouth. All right, Cyril? All right, Martin. How you doing? What's your Sheila? Shirley. Want a drink? Go on, thanks. Marvin. Mum, what are you doing in there? Oh, come on. What have you got your hat on for? Going on your holidays? What you're going to have to drink? A little sherry? Champagne! We ain't got no champagne. We have actually six bottles. Cup of tea. You don't want tea. Yes, she does. It's your birthday! Get her a cup of tea. We have got all the drink that money can buy. Why has she got to have a cup of tea? Oi! Get her a cup of tea. It's what she wants. She always spoils everything. Hello, baby. <sighs> I'm sorry, Cheryl. Over there. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Mum, I've got your tea here. This is bloody balmy. Everybody's sitting round the table. Shut up. Anybody think there's any steak and chips or something? <laughs> don't drag her. I know how to handle my own mum. Thank you. Sit down. <laughs> You're the birthday girl. <laughs> Cheryl, sit down. Cyril, not there. Well, where are they? Over there, next to Shirley. Martin, what are you doing? Getting pissed. Oh. I'll go and get the tea. I wouldn't eat too many of them, Cyril. You might get stomach ache. Handy though, isn't it? A brass banana. <laughs> Never know when you're going to want one of those. Don't grow on trees. Martin! The champagne! All right, keep your hair on. Shall I give her a present now, then? Yeah, go on. We bought you this for your birthday. What is it? Well, open it. It's a show, isn't it? Here we are! <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> I told you so! <laughs> Wrap it round his shoulders, keep yourself warm. Yeah. Mm. Right. Did you get our present, Mum? What? My present! Oh. Oh, typical Harrods! Why don't you shut your gob? Can I get rid of that? There we are, Blossom. Surely. I don't want any. Go oh, and get it down here. Yeah. It's the best money can buy. You'll have some, won't you, Cyril? No, I've got a beer over there. I'll drink it. Yeah, it's so light. What's the matter? You want a beer? Yeah. Here, go and get their beers. We're not having a beer. We've got champagne. Look, if they want beer, they shall have beer. Martin, what are you playing at? Get there. There we are. Dos cervezas, por favor. Now then, my darling, you know class when you see it, don't you? No, I don't want any. Come on, you only live once. What about me? All right, all right. Mum, pick up your glass. Pick it up! Don't talk to her like that. Cheryl, this is a family occasion, all right? I would like to propose a toast to Mum's birthday because it could be her last. <laughs> Thank you. 
See, what you've got to learn, Cyril, is you've got to speculate to accumulate. Accumulate what? Money. What's your weekly turnover? You mean what the boss makes? No, no, what you make. You mind your own business. Well, you can trust me. Who am I going to tell? I earn enough. I bet you don't. You all right, Mrs Bender? I'm still alive. And kicking. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Cyril. I'm going to give you a piece of professional advice. Go on, in. Your best bet is to form yourself a little company. What for? Well, you let all the other wallies do the dirty work and you sit in Happy Valley collecting the dosh. I wouldn't do that on principle. How do you mean? <laughs> oh, look, I'm being serious. Business is booming. They all need delivery, boys. What are you waiting for? It ain't everybody's purpose in life to accumulate money. Ah, out of order, Cyril. I'll tell you something free of charge. Every man has his price. We ain't all like you. I know you ain't all like me. Very few are. He's in a dead-end job. What are you going to be doing when you're 45, 50? You won't want to be schlepping around the streets or weathers on a moped all day and after night. you got to think ahead. I'll manage. Where do you think this lot come from? Off the back of a lorry. <laughs> you ain't as stupid as you look, are you? Shame I can't say the same about you, innit? You've got a lot to learn, Cyril. How long have you and Cyril been going together, eh? About ten years. Going to get married? Why, what's it to you? Well, if you get married, we'd be related, wouldn't we? <laughs> but in the meantime... Have you ever done any modelling? No, but I've done a bit of yodelling. She taught me to yodel, yodel like he do. So you ain't done that. Yeah, so we've got one of these, uh, what should we call it, uh, open relationship sort of thing. Nip off and do other things now and again. Like what? Bit of this, bit of that. Bit of the other? Yeah, got it. Why, is that what you do then? Not me. I'm happily married man. Oh, yeah. you got a great big car, haven't you? You got to come out in the garden, then? No. Give me some of your professional advice. Do me a favour. Actually, there's one particular plant I'd like you to have a look at for me. Yeah, I'll bet there is. Down the bottom end, away from the house. Yeah? Yeah. Hang on, I'll go and get me garden shears out. Come on. It's nice and dark now. Hope she ain't too cold. What, like you? Ah. Oh. Hello, Cyril. You got everything you want? Yeah, I have, is it, man?
people out. You want me to do it for you? Cyril, will you keep your nose out of this, please? Come on. One, two, three. Have you made a big wish? Yeah, well, we all know that, Martin. You don't. Well, we can imagine, can't we? No, you can't. There now. Are you going to have some of this delicious cake, Mum? Of course you are, it's your birthday. Oh, she don't want that. She Cyril, don't want she's going to have some of her birthday cake. All right, here you are, Mum. Open wide. Down right. the hatch. Open. Oh, I know. Leave her alone. Oh, will you time. leave me itself? If she don't want no cake, she ain't going to have any. It's her birthday. It's her birthday and she's having some birthday cake or else her wish goes down the drain. What are you talking about? Her wish goes down the drain. Oh, you you got brain damage or something. Listen, will you not shout in front of Mum? You're upsetting her. It's supposed to be her birthday party. You're taking a fork full of cake, sticking it in her face. What's wrong with you? You're having a breakdown. You're having a breakdown. I'm having a breakdown. You are. You've been having a breakdown for the last 20 years. No, it's all them drugs, isn't it? It's because you're a drug addict. You wouldn't know, Shirley, because you're all right tucked in the eyeballs. Let's face it. Look at yourself talking about me. Look, go upstairs, look in the mirror, and look at yourself. Don't tell me what to do in my own house. Thank you. You're a disgrace. Look at this. Look at you. You fill the house with expensive tat. You You're get us over. He ain't her birthday party. He's got nothing to do with her. You're it's for you. Let's face it, you are Me. jealous. Jealous you of you. Everybody down, sir. You don't want anyone to have it. You even stop mum having her own house. I'm it. I stop mum having her own house. The only reason you wanted to buy the house was so you could sell it off later on when she's gone and make a huge profit. You do not look nice. Thanks. So do you. Out! Come on out! Hello, Delta. Yeah, is that Davy? Yeah, it's Cyril and Grease Lightning. Come on! How's it going? No, no, I don't want no more at the moment. No, no, it was great. I need a cab, a bit sharpish. Yeah, I'll hold on. Come in then, Mrs Bender. Put your coat on. Where am I going? You're going home. Who's taking me? I hope we ain't bringing on coke. We're phoning for a taxi. What for? For Mrs Bender. Who? Oh! oh. I ain't going in no taxi on my own. I'll come with you then. Hey, you don't want to go home yet, darling. You've only just got here. Who's paying for it? We're paying for it. I ain't paying for it. Yeah, I ain't paying for it neither. Sit down then. Here, Val! Get your ass down here! 20 minutes. I'm going to go back with her. OK. Yeah. You all right with Dosh? No. Four-eyed fucking moron. You talking to me? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, no, not you, Cyril. Your bleeding sister. Fair enough. How much a cab at King's Cross for me? Well, you've got to be talking, uh, 15, school. I'll see you later. Lost the big spenders, eh, Cyril? Drive safely. Yeah, Cyril, do you mind a drop of whiskey? Got a lovely bottle of Chivers Regal in my cabinet. I'll tell you something. You're my fucking brother-in-law. Hey, darling. Wanna go up the pub?
All a bleeding same. Fucking losers. Bring her back here for. Because she was upset. So? She's your mum. Don't worry. She keeps losing herself. Who's Frida? Frida? Yeah, she was talking about her. That's my auntie Frida, it's her sister. Mm -hmm. Be ready in a minute. Hey, hurry up. Don't forget to drink your tea. because it's warmer. I've been here. No, you ain't. I have. No, this is our house. Man-made shoes. Who was man-made? I never took him away from her. What's the matter? Did Valerie give me a present? Nah, she never. She said we was getting off at the next end. Who was I supposed to see? I caught my shoe in the tram lines. She used to smack my legs, poor. She never laid a finger on Frida. They both stood there laughing at me. And all them people. What my fault? Mm. 
Why should I always have to wear Frida's hand-me-downs? All right, Farini, she always had a new frock. It's all right. <laughs> I told her, never been drunk in my life. She sparked out. Who's that? It's a skeleton. It's no one. It's a poster for nuclear disarmament. I suppose we'd better sleep in the other room. There's no way I'm sleeping in the other room. Ain't there? No. Oh, all right. I'll be 70 in 2026 if Wolves do you. That'll be the centenary of the general strike. <laughs> what? I'll be 35 in June. If we have a kid this year, when you're 70, he'll be 35. I'll leave it out. Or she. All the Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> what would you rather have, boy or a girl? Don't mind, really. One of each. What would you rather have? I'd rather have a rusty spike shoved up me on. <laughs> What she said? She never took him away from her. Yeah. From who? From Frida. Nah. Yeah, she had a thing about her. Nah. That'd be me Auntie Reenie. Mm. She must have met me dead. Mm. I'll let her go around there more often. She needs more than that. She needs looking after. Oh, no. You scared of getting old? A bit. Are you? Don't know. I'm scared of looking back. What do you mean? From 25 to 35. Mm -hmm. Best years of your life, are not they? What about after that? Downhill. <laughs> what, all the way? Mm. <laughs> I'm scared of getting bitter. You won't get bitter. I ain't got me cap in. Have a look. <laughs> Did you nick it? Nah. <laughs> Followed me out. <laughs> You're going to be late for work, aren't you? Yeah. Can't be helped, though, can it? I'll be all right for a bit. Yeah. I haven't had my pills. Well, how did you sleep? Like a baby. Well, you can do voucher pills then, can't you? I have to be going home soon. Yeah, you're a dirty stop at it. Just have a bath. Are you warm in there? Yeah. This is nice. Rest. Yeah. Be a 
sit down here. Look at Toldolf. Don't you worry about a thing. Hey, Cyril. What? Bring her over here. Gavin. Here's King's Cross, look. And there's some pancreas. Station? Yeah. What's this? It's my garden, isn't it? Through there, look. St Paul's Cathedral. Yeah. Like a tip, isn't it? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Come and have a look at the trains. Don't go too close. It's all right. It's where Dad used to work, isn't it? I know. I know you know. Do you want to go on a train? Not today. No, when it's warmer. Where'd you like to go? Into Margate. You don't want to go there. We'd take you somewhere nice. Yeah. Ramsgate. Hallgate. Arrogate. Cowangate. Watergate. <laughs> Do you want to sit down? Over there, look. It's where you live. Yeah, behind the guest works. It's the top of the world. Hey? I said it's the top of the world. <laughs> <laughs>